Hey guys, it's Suzanne Mosley with Paper Pie. I'm going to show you how to create a wish list for a customer. Sometimes I do this in parties um, when someone's like, hey, can you pick out like five books for me for my three grandchildren? Or sometimes even in a party, I do it as a convenience if someone tells me, hey, I have my books uh, picked out, but I don't have time to order. Then I tell them, hey, if you can send me the list of the titles, I'll put them in a wish list for you where all you have to do is click a button, add all to cart, and it makes checkout easy. So sometimes I also use this feature for convenient shopping for a customer. So basically, um, in order to do this, you need, do need to be a brand partner or a story maker. Um, if you're watching this video and you're a customer, this feature is only um, uh for brand partners and story makers. So you'll need to log in to your account, click on my account, and it's in, oops, I don't know what that was all about. There we go, that was weird. Um, I don't know what that was about. Um, it's in the same spot as when you're creating an e-show. So you just click add wish list, you name it, Susie hosts, and you can link it with an event, you don't have to. Then it will be the last one that you have created. So I always go, I've done this for nine years, so I've accumulated a lot. I'll just always click on that final arrow button. It takes me there. Then you click edit. Oops, sorry. No, then you don't click edit. You click edit book details. Sorry. And then, dun, 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 dun. then instead of the cart button, which I think is blue, it shifts um, to wish list mode. So then you can just add anything to your heart's content. If you want to add some puzzles, you click over here and you can add some puzzles. If you want to add some of the top sellers, you can just keep adding to your heart's content. Now, one thing I will do if I'm adding to the wish list for multiple um, children or grandchildren, I'll do one section for one child. Then I'll start the next one. And then I will describe to the person I'm sending it to, hey, all better through Don't Tickle the Hippo is for your two-year-old. Um, Billy B. Brown uh, Mysteries down through Lift the Flap, um, See Inside Your Body is for your eight-year-old. Um, the Map Maker Chronicles through the Science Encyclopedia are for your 11-year-old. So I just tell them that because it that way I don't have to make three. Okay, so then you go here and click view wish list and this will be the one you're working on and then you need this URL right here. Don't click up here at the top um, because that will just take you any to their own wish list. That web link just takes you to a wish list. Actually, it'll take you to yours. Um, so you need this long gobbledygook one that is specific and specialized to the one you just created. So then you just um, copy and paste it and send via text or messenger or however you're communicating. So there you go. Hope that's helpful.